fellow ghouls and ghosts, and welcome to Shopping with Sonya! You know, it's uh, July now. It's our time of the year. We are not going to talk about Christmas. We're talking about Halloween. It's Halloween comes before Christmas. No Christmas in July here. Anyway, <laughs> as we've seen, like, last, the last video I did, some stores are bringing out their Halloween stuff, mostly online, but there are a couple that are bringing it in person. Anyway, the two stores I went to to see what they had was Dollar Tree, actually two Dollar Trees, and TJ Maxx. So stay tuned and see what I saw. I know that was short because they didn't really have all that much, but beggars can't be choosers. I'm glad there's some out and it's just kind of weird and random. Dollar Tree, one of them had the actual candle like displays, light ups where you can put candles, but I don't know what shadow displays, whatever they're called, and lots of floral. I actually really love the white pumpkins and like the normal pumpkins with the leaves. I think it's really pretty. I haven't seen any of the uh, actual Halloween floral, it's just mostly fall, but I love fall. I always uh, decorate for fall, get fall things, all that good stuff. Um, and TJ Maxx, they had a couple that was more Halloween, like the blankets with the snake, the skeleton, the skulls, I should say, not skeleton, and like the dark like mushrooms and butterflies. To me, that screams Halloween, and some of it was just kind of like more the goth, which is this kind of type of year, so that's why I included a few random things. Anyway, so the rest of this video, I'm just gonna show you what I have bought this year that is Halloween slash goth related. And uh, I guess first up, I'll just show this. And this is a coloring book, Creepy Cat Kai uh, Kawaii. Um, has a little Grim Reaper on a unicorn, pastel goth coloring book. This actually got pretty popular, like 20, 2020, 2021, and it's on Amazon, and I saw it right before it got really huge, and I'm like, I gotta, I gotta get it. Show picture here, got a goat, Baphomet thing, little, like, monster devil girl. Don't want to show off too much, because I don't want to... Uh, discredit the artist, whoever, I don't think they credit it on here. <laughs> um, up next is, um, two outfits, I guess, that I bought. The first up is Amazon Hot Touch brand. I've gotten a few things from Hot Touch, especially, um, their flannel. It's really nice. Basically, it is this, has a pocket here. It's like a shirt dress, and it has this belt. Up next is from Hot Topic, because you know my favorite store is Hot Topic. I saw this online, 
I don't know how long it was up, probably not very long, but as soon as I saw it, I knew I had to have it. It's this, like, goth, grungy sweater, black and white, or black and white, black and orange stripe, because I'm loving black and orange. I used to hate orange, but I love it now. Um, it's kind of like a crop, but it actually goes pretty low on me. You could probably stretch. It's like a netting fabric. Obviously, see through. You want to wear something underneath it, or if it's like the sweltering heat, just wear a bra with it. Who cares? If you go up sizes, it'll probably be like an oversized shirt, but I didn't want it too loose. I wanted it fitted and baggy. I'm excited to wear it. And the next thing, not really Halloween related, but very goth. Um, it has things on it, but it's kind of hard to read because it's so small. Rose by any other name would smell as sweet. But it has like this dagger with wings, flowers, skulls. It's kind of like a close up. And it is a high low skirt, so front's high, back's low. It's really soft. Um said it I finally got it because I've it's on been on my wish list for a while. And speaking of close theme, my husband bought these on Mother's Day, Mother's Day's gift. I just haven't had a chance to show them, I guess. But they are more gothic boots. They have hearts in the front, belt buckles. Not as high as my uh, pumpkin ones, but pretty still, pretty high still. Probably about an inch and a half to two inches. Really comfortable, and I can actually wear them at work. <laughs> and since they were in the video, and this was actually a surprise by my husband when I was working, he got me the Boo Ghost. Here is where you put the candle. I have these orange tea lights. Yeah, here's Boo Ghost. And he got me the kitty. I know the Boo one, the Boo Ghost one, has been there for a couple years. I have not seen this kitty one. I could be wrong, but I have not seen it. It's just all black and there's that. Pretty cool. And I, it was really surprising. It was sweet of my husband. And this I have shown in the past, like, one of my first ones that wasn't really great, my first Halloween, because I was just basically having fun, didn't think this was going to be like a full-time thing, but this cute pumpkin. It did come with a chain strap. I bought this chain strap at Walmart because it's thicker and reviews said the chain one didn't last very long and I like how it kind of looks punk, so I'm like, yeah, I'll get the leather one. And since it is kind of small, a small handbag, I wish it was a little bit bigger, I decided to get a seasonal wallet with it last year and it has leaves on it and it, uh, I think it has a 12 or 10 slot which is perfect for me because I don't I do carry a lot of cards for stores and things like that but I don't use all of them so this is perfect and I'm just gonna reshow since I have this Halloween Decto bag which I put my Sally on it and this came actually from a TJ Maxx cup skull same thing with this and the very last thing I have to show you, it's not really goth related or Halloween related, but I just had to show it off. I got this, I think in February or March when they first were kind of announcing it. I got it from a box lunch. And this cute Godzilla smish, squish mellow. I still want the Mothra one. I think it's cute. And I'm not like a huge squish mellow fan. They, I get the hype, but I'm not like the crazy ones that collect it. Um, I would like some Halloween ones, but this guy, I couldn't pass up, and he has like little spikes, his little tail, he's adorable. So, I, I guess that's all I have to say. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, hopefully we can get more Halloween related videos, you know me, it's that time of year. Things are going to start coming probably at the end of the month, August, so, you know, I'll be out there searching for it. And, uh, yes, without further ado, the only thing to say is, oh crap. <laughs> well, my stupidity, I forgot a couple things and I was like, oh, I'm not going to forget forget him. Um, my husband, being how sweet he is again, he got me the new Jack Pumpkin Vinyl Pop, Figure Pop, Funko Pop, there we go, Funko Pop. I haven't, I don't have it yet, it's, I supposed to get it by the end of the week, um, I, he got it at GameStop, and I thought it was a GameStop exclusive, but I've actually been seeing it roll out in Hot Topic. But I think GameStop had the pre-orders first, and then like a week or so after he bought it for me, Hot Topic was starting to come out. Um, and the other thing, well, it's hard because it's on my bed, I bought a bed sheet. Here's a picture. 
It's just like dancing skeletons. Some of them are playing like a saxophone, skateboarding, holding a pumpkin. I do want another Halloween set or sheet set, but this one was like the best one and it wasn't too pricey. It's really soft, awesome. And the last thing, my best friend's dad actually got it for me. It is a posable, bendable jack and a zero. And they, I actually put them on my wall because my room is a Halloween haven, as I like to call it. So, I'm pretty sure that's it now. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed my ditzy self sometimes. And uh, if you do like it, like the video, subscribe. I'm very happy that we've been getting a lot of subscribers recently. Please keep it up. It means so much to us and help this channel grow. Uh, so thank you very much. You're also rad. I love you. And I'll see you next time. Rad. 90s. Ha <laughs> ha